It was the line to make up for lost time. You know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> now, I would normally say drop the mic, but I banned that phrase. <laughs> I'm so tired of that phrase. But that was pretty awesome. So after going soft on the emails in the first debate, Trump dropped the hammer, knowing that the folks who chant lock her up, they needed a pick-me-up. Will it appeal to anyone else? Is it too late? Who knows? A new NBC Wall Street Journal poll has Trump down 52 to 38 percent to Clinton in a two-way race. Still, that moment is destined to be played every four years, along with you're no JFK and here you go again. It's the political equivalent of a pie in the face. He also said that if he was elected, he'd do this. If I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception. There has never been anything like it. We're going to get a special prosecutor and we're going to look into it because you know what? People have been, their lives have been destroyed for doing one fifth of what you've done. And it's a disgrace. And honestly, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, the media freaked out about this that Trump's really a wannabe tyrant bent on settling the scores. You could be right. He might have that in him. But what he said is actually what a lot of people think about Hillary. Why is she getting away with this? How is this possible? It was a good moment for him. But then she just grinned as the polls widened, knowing there are more shoes to drop. And each one will overshadow her own wretched failures as she smirks her way back to the Oval Office. My hat's off to you, Bill Clinton, for telling Donald to run. Hmm. Hmm.